How about you today back in another video? All right, my teachers all around the world. I am actually at work, but I have some time here. I have some break here. And I usually I don't have time to do this kind of because this video will be more than five minutes. Because usually when I'm at work, I cannot do videos more than five minutes. But here I have a little longer break. And I really I really needed to come out here and do this video about this topic. You can read what the topic is about. I just heard an interview with Marion Bartoli, the former Wimbledon champion from 2013, 11 years ago. And they were talking about at Eurosport, that interview was at Eurosport, and it, she was not alone, she was with other Eurosport people there. And they were talking about, uh, about Sinan and Alcaraz, how many slams these two superstars will end their careers with. And, uh, Nevertheless, they was, some said, all of them were saying that they will win double digit slams. And one thing that Mario Bartoli said that caught my attention, it caught my attention big times, baby. She said, I believe Novak will win two, more, two or three more Grand Slam titles. <laughs> Oh my dear God, sometimes I don't know what to do, to, to laugh or to cry. In this case, I choose, I choose, I chose to laugh. I choose to laugh. I, I, I just can't, I just can't understand how these tennis analysts who have played the game on a professional level. Patrick Marutoglu is one thing. He has never played on a professional level what I know. Maybe yes, maybe yes, he has. But what I know he has not. But yes coach and is coaching professional tennis players. I don't take that dude, that French dude, seriously. Uh, when he said that Djokovic will win 28 to 30 Grand Slam titles, he even said 30 last year. This year, at the beginning of the year, he changed it to 28 to 30 Grand Slam titles after Djokovic didn't win the Astral Open. But he continued to do horrible predictions when he said Jones will win two to three Grand Slam titles this year. Patrick Marutoglu said that after the Slow Open. We know that prediction went completely out of the window and he, he got that completely wrong. Now, another French player, uh, another French human being, they are, almost, they are from the same country because Marion Bartoli is also from France, from France. She is saying, Djokovic will win two to three Grand Slam titles that he has left of his career, which is not many years left in his career, at least not many years left on the top. And I can't believe that she, who, has, who knows the game, she's a Grand Slam champion. Not everybody is Grand Slam champions. She goes and says this kind of a prediction. For God's sakes, Andy Murray, has won three Grand Slam titles during his whole career, which we are talking about 10 to 15 years, 15 to 20 years. During that time of, during that period of time, which is over 15 years period of time, Andy Murray was able to win Three Grand Slam titles, my tennis players all around the world. Are you understanding? Are you realizing which kind of a prediction Mario Bartoli is making when she is saying Djokovic, when he will be 38 years old next year, will win two to three more Grand Slam titles? <laughs> he has passed his prime last peak we saw from Djokovic was 2023. I've done a video about that. That was Novak's last peak. That Novak has been able to hang in and to be able to produce this kind of a breathtaking tennis, to produce this kind of a high quality tennis, to produce and win this many majors in his 30s, which is 12. This is mind-boggling stuff that Novak has been able to do. But I will not sit here and believe that a player who has won a Wimbledon in, his, in her career, which Marion Bartoli has done, I cannot, 
understand, I cannot believe that she goes on and makes this kind of prediction. Can George win two to three more Grand titles? Yeah, it can happen. It will not be a tremendously huge miracle if he does. But I don't, I will, I absolutely don't believe that that will happen. Absolutely. If Djokovic couldn't win two to three Grand Slam titles in this 2024 season, when he's younger than the case will be next year, this year he has played four Grand Slam tournaments, and three of them he was 37 years old, Wimbledon, uh, French Open, Wimbledon, and US Open, and one when he was 36 years old at, at, at Assel Open earlier this year. What is telling me, you, and the entire tennis world that Djokovic will go on and win two to three more Grand Slam titles when he will be 38 years old next year in three Grand Slam tournaments? French Open, Wimbledon, and US Open. And, and when he will be 37 years old in one Grand Slam tournament, Astral Open next year in the beginning of the year, 2025. So I cannot believe that... I, can, I just What does these people believe? That, that, that winning majors is a walk in the park? What does these people believe? That winning majors is like playing future tennis? What does these people believe? That winning majors is like going playing tennis outside your, 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 your living room? What does these people believe? This is not a kindergarten sport we are talking about. This is a brutal, competitive, uh, hard sport to achieve and to win majors, especially this late in his career. And another thing that Patrick Maratuglu is, forget, is forgetting, and Mario Bartoli is also forgetting, both of them coming from France, Djokovic, all respect to Djokovic, he has done a tremendous great effort winning 12 majors in his 30s. A tremendous, a tremendous. This is just, I really don't believe we will ever see one tennis player, male or female, winning this many Grand Slam titles in his or in he or in she's third, thirties. Unbelievable stuff. Djokovic has won twelve majors in his thirties. Nadal has won eight. Federer managed to do to um, managed to only win four in his thirties. So what Djokovic has done is just impeccable stuff. But everything comes to an end. And if this argument is not enough, Djokovic doesn't have the luxury, the pleasure to face players born in the 90s. I'm getting, I'm starting to get a question. I'm, I'll, I will answer to you, my, my, my friend. I'm start, I, I have gotten a question, but I, 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 I have not had time to do a video, but I will answer to the question during this video. Uh, will we see another player born in the 90s win another slam? Because as the, it stands now, we have only two players who has won majors that are born in the 90s. And those two players are Dominic Thiem, when he won the US Open 2020, and Dan Medvedev when he won the same tournament US Open 2021. These are the only two players born in the 90s that we have as Grand Slam champions. And if you look what the 90s, the born players that, that are born in the 90s, what they have done. Their record is not great. Their record is not great. They have been... They are 2 to 19 in Grand Slam Finals. 2 to 19. You can understand which kind of a not superb and great stats they have in Grand Slam Finals. 2 to 19. They have won 2 Grand Slam Finals and they have lost 19 Grand Slam Finals. All players born into in the 90s. And one of those Grand Slam Finals they have faced each other, both of them born in the 90s. And though that Grand Slam final is, of course, between Dominic Team and Alexander Sasha Zverev back in the US Open 2020. So, the generation on the, that are born in the 90s, they have not had a great time, right? The generation that are born in the 2000s, they are doing much better than the 90s. The 2000s, they have already played six Grand Slam finals 
And they have bloody freaking won all of those six grand slam finals. And those players I'm talking about is, of course, Carlos Alcaraz, who has played four grand slam finals and won all of them, and Yannick Sinner, who has, who has played two grand slam finals and won both of them. Considering all this, Djokovic will not have, not, that, not only the age that is catching up with him, Father Time defeats everybody, like we all know. The players that he needs to defeat now are not, are not 90s. The, it, is not the, it is not the 19th generation that are Novak's biggest threat anymore, like it was the case for four or five years that we have seen in the past seasons. For God's sakes, Djokovic has four Grand Slam titles against Tsitsipas and against Medvedev. Four. And then he had four Grand Slam titles against Kyrgios, Bretini, Kasparud. And which, which four I'm forgetting. Against Kyrgios, Bretini, Kasparud, and Ber Kyrgios, Bretini, Kasparud. Uh, another player that he has defeated in the Grand Slam final. Uh, let me think here because I'm forgetting. It is four players that he has defeated in the Grand Slam finals that were born in the 90s once. Uh, uh, Pass has defeated two times. Medvedev has defeated two times. So there he has four different titles which he has won against the 90s. Players who were born in the 90s. Four. Then he has... Yeah, Dominic Thiem. Yeah, Dominic Thiem. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Then he has four some titles that uh, that he has defeated once that were born in the 90s. Kyrgios, Bretini, Kasparud, Dominic Thiem. Four. Four against those four dudes and four against Tsitsipas and Medvedev together. So he has won eight Grand Slam titles, Novak Djokovic, against six players who were born in the 90s. All respect to these players. They are not weak players. They are good tennis players. But they are not even as close as good as Carlos Alcaraz and Yannick Sinner. They are not. Djokovic has had his share of uh, brutal era. I'm not saying Djokovic is a weak uh, Grand Slam champion. It is definitely not what I'm saying. Djokovic, for God's sake, has won 14 out of 24 Grand Slam titles against Federer and against Nadal, where he has defeated one of them to win Grand Slam tournaments. One of them. 14 out of, his, out of 24 Grand Slam titles that he has in total. And once he has defeated both Federer and Nadal to go and win a Grand Slam title, which was the US Open 2011. Nadal has done a little better than Djokovic here. Nadal has won 15 out of 22 Grand Slam titles that he has in his career, where he has defeated Djokovic or Federer on the way. 15 out of 22. So Nadal has won seven Grand Slam titles where he, has, where he, has, where he, doesn't, where he didn't need to face neither Djokovic or Federer. And Nadal has won three Grand Slam titles where he has defeated both Federer and Djokovic on the way, which is, of course, the French Open, 2006, 2007, and 2008. Of course, Federer has the weakest record here out of the big three when it comes to win majors, when he has gone through to defeat one, one of his top two sheep rivals, Nadal and Djokovic. Federer has won seven out of his 20 Grand Slam titles where he has defeated Nadal or Djokovic on the way. And Federer has never been able to defeat both of them to win a Grand Slam title in the same Grand Slam tournament. He was close at the Wimbledon 2019. We was one point away from doing that, but we all know how that story ended. So Djokovic has done a tremendous good job. Don't misunderstand me, my tennis friends all around the world. But Djokovic road has become it's a completely different story now for him to win more Grand Slam titles. The 90s that are born in the that are born in the nineties are much weaker tennis players than Sinner and Alcas, which I just demonstrated in this video. They are played. They are they are two to nineteen in Grand Slam finals. They have been in twenty one Grand Slam finals combined together. The players that are born in the nineties, and they have won two out of twenty one Grand Slam finals that the players that are born in the 90s. So they are 2 to 90. Won two Grand Slam finals 
and lost 19 Grand Slam finals. Compared with the players who were born in the 2000s, Alcast and Sinner, they have played six Grand Slam finals, Alcast four, Sinner two, and they have won all of those six. So at Djokovic, is not in his peak of his career. Djokovic is older than he was five years ago when he was playing against players like Medvedev, Team, Tsitsipas, uh, Kyrgios, Bretini, Kasper Ruud. Yeah, those six players. He's older nowadays than he was three to five years ago when he was facing these six players, when, when he won eight Grand Slam titles against these six players. And not to forget that Sin and Alcaraz are completely different players than those six players I just mentioned. They are much better. And when you do all this, when you summary all this, how in hell will Novak Djokovic win two to three more Grand Slam titles like Marion Bartoli is predicting that Djokovic will win next year. Just tell me, just tell me, baby, just tell me. I want to have an answer. I am curious to know the answer. Do you agree with what she said? I don't know if you guys know it, but if you don't, you know it now when I will release this video, after you have watched this video. Do you agree with her? Not to forget, because him I don't even take seriously. Patrick the Clown, Marturuglu, who have said Djokovic will go on and win 30 Grand Slam titles. Like winning Grand Slam titles is like going, like going a, a, a walk in the park. That is not the case. In winning Grand Slam titles is not like a walk in the park. Just ask Zverev, just ask Tsitsipas, just ask Medvedev, just ask Bretini, just ask Kyrgios, just ask Kasper Ruud. All these six players together that I just mentioned have two Grand Slam titles together. Zverev, Tsitsipas, Medvedev, Team, Kasper Ruud, Nikirius. They have two Grand Slam titles together, all these six players that I mentioned. All of them have been in Grand Slam finals. Some of them in multiple Grand Slam finals, like Zverev, Tsitsipas, and Medvedev. And Kasparov. And, uh, uh, and two of them have been in one Grand Slam final. Berrettini, one each. Berrettini and Kyrgios. So, winning Grand Slam titles is not like a walk in the park like these French people, Mario Bartoli and Patrick the Clown, Marturuglu, is believing. And they sit there in front of the camera on Eurosport, especially Mar Mar Mario Bartoli, because Mario Bartoli did this latest comment and this latest prediction just one or two days ago, when she said Djokovic will go on and win two, three Grand Slam titles next year. When Murray won two, three, two to three Grand Slam titles, three Murray won in the, end, in, in, in the end of his career in total, in 15 to 20 years' time in a professional tennis career. Same with Stan Wawrinka, who was able to win three Grand Slam titles in 15 to 20 years' time in a professional career. And Marion Bartoli makes the prediction that Djokovic will go on and win two to three Grand Slam titles as 37, 38 years old when. The oldest tennis player that has won a Grand Slam title in the tennis history is Ken Russell back in the 70s when he won the Russell Open as 37 years old and one or two months old. You see how rare and how difficult it is to win Grand Slam titles this old as Djokovic is. Yeah, I know Djokovic is not a regular player. He's the greatest tennis player of all time. But still, that doesn't mean that just because he's the greatest tennis player of all time, and just because he has broken all the records, more or less, he's, he's kind of a, a, a machine. Yeah, we, 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 me, I also call him a tennis machine, tennis beast, a tennis terminator, a tennis predator, a tennis monster many times. Yeah, I do that when he does unbelievable achievement and when he, when he does great run and wins the Grand Slam tournament. But in reality, he's a human being, for God's sakes, like everybody else in this planet. And Djokovic will not win two to three more Grand Slam titles in the 2025 season. 
no matter what the clowns like Mario Bartoli and Patrick Marotugli is saying. If Djokic wins one more Grand title in his career, he should be extremely, extremely happy because that is maximum, maximum what Djokic can do in his career, win only one more. But even that, me as a tennis analyst in Teniteri is predicting that Djokovic will not win even that. All the reasons what I just said all about and what I demonstrated in everything in this video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this video. Peace!